Welcome to Mahogany Bay on the island of Roatan. Mahogany Bay is Carnival's port that they use in Roatan. Roatan is an island off of the mainland of Honduras. So we are here to explore and see what the port has to offer and see what we can do today. We don't have a short excursion, so we're just going to check out the entire pool here, see what we can do, see what we can see. There's food, drink, there's a beach that we can check out, so come with us. We'll let you get a, a better feel for what's going on here at the port area. What can we do that doesn't cost a whole lot of money that's close by? Let's go find out. So of course, like a lot of ports in the, in the Caribbean, there's plenty of shopping to do. Uh, lots of, uh, well, lots of places to buy clothes and, and well, clothes and jewelry, lots of jewelry. <laughs> I see coffee over here. Let's go do that. Let's do that. All right, so we found this little coffee shop. We've got an iced latte. Brian got an Americano. And because if it's on the menu, I'm going to get it. We've got a beef empanada because I love empanadas. This one is more of a doughy consistency and it's got like a shredded beef in it and of course their own Honduran spices, Rotan spices. It's good too. I kind of like the flakiness of the, the pork patty in Jamaica better. <laughs> All right, got our coffee. Now we're free to explore a little further into the port. Let's see what we can find. All right, down at the end is of course the craft market. So this area at the far end of the port is called the craft market. It's kind of like in Nassau, you have the straw market. It's mostly goods that are handmade by the Rotan people. They also have handmade chocolate. They have some coffee, it smells so good. It's a neat little area if you want to spend a little money and get t-shirts, get souvenirs, things that say Rotan. Great place to shop. So to get down to the beach area, there's a path down here at the end opposite from the craft market, uh, or you can take the, the chairlift. I think I want to try the trailer just because I want to get the views flying over the, over the, well, over whatever it is to see. The chairlift is, is 15 bucks per person, and then you can ride it as much as you want to. Well, probably most folks would only ride it down to the beach and then back again, but there you have it. We were going to spend $30 for both of us to do all day on the, the lift back and forth, and then another 30 to get an umbrella, but then for, and that was 60 For 85 they have a a private area that you get all the things included, plus water, plus plus um, some other items you, you'll see. Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi, yeah, and a per, pri, private attendant. And it was just $25 more, so that's what we did. So we're doing the magic chair lift. This will take us to the beach area of Mahogany Bay. In the meantime, look at these beautiful views. It's a beautiful walking trail down below us. So in the chair lift, they're, uh, they're included a, a rope in case you have to rappel down. That would not be a good activity. And the the lift, the, the seats themselves are like American size, so you got plenty <laughs> of room. Yeah, before or after a cruise. <laughs> All right, we're kind of clearing the jungly area mostly. Now it's getting to be open. We can see water. We should be able to see beaches pretty soon. The the ride itself has stopped and started several times, so. You, you probably could walk faster than the ride itself, but then you'd be missing out on all these views. Well, we stopped again. All right, we made it clear of the jungly area. Our little area that we signed up for, a little extra cost, is this Blue Lagoon area. So it includes the, the Wi-Fi and the lift pass and hopefully a place to put our stuff down. I'm gonna get in the water. So there's an area that just you get in, you get a float, and we get to do that. But it's not really an area where you'd snorkel. So I'm gonna have to figure out where I can go snorkeling because you know that's what I love to do. While she's hanging out in the water, I'm gonna explore a little bit more about this beach area and see if we can help her find uh, a snorkeling place. Uh, it's called the Blue Lagoon area. It's kind of the private area that we paid a little just to get in. There's less people, other amenities, but. What's cool is, there's our ship. All right, there is the chairlift that we read over. $15 a person for all day access boards in a little package like we got for this little blue lagoon area. It's a fun experience, but make sure you keep on your cover up because you stop every time someone gets on, it stops. So it stops every few feet. 
and it takes a while to get over here. With the sun out, you feel like you're baking. <laughs> so that's my little tip. Stay covered up till you get over here. If you don't want to spend that money, it's okay too because there's a walkway just below it over there and it's probably 10, 15 minute max walk. In port with us today is the Carnival Spirit. Check her out over there. She sails from Mobile right now. Let me know if you want to cruise on her. We can get, get you on there or we can get you cruising on Celebration from Miami. She's a beautiful ship. You know I am a travel advisor. My email is melissa at magnotravelgroup.com. If you want to book a cruise like this or, or any other cruise or any kind of vacation, email me and I can definitely get you set up. Let's talk about ship time versus local time. So we sailed from Miami and when we got to Cozumel and when we hit Costa Maya, ship time and local time will be the same. So it's not a problem, but here in Rotan, it is an hour earlier. So watch ship time. You can open the, the Carnival Hub app and at the very top on the Hub app, anywhere you are on the app, it will tell you ship time and give you what time it is. So just a tip, don't miss the boat. All right, so if you need an umbrella or a clamshell or a snorkel, they got you covered. So there's two ships in port today, of course, the Celebration and the Spirit. And most folks, it looks like, are going to be right here at this beach area. Uh, so let's go a little further and see if maybe there is a snorkeling area down there at the end. Okay, it looks like if you go far enough, you reach another private area. So we kind of have this spot in the middle where most folks are. Uh, and I'm kind of glad that we signed up for the, uh, the Blue Lagoon area because there's a lot fewer people. That's, like I said, it's a much smaller area. Uh, but, but certainly if you want a little bit of the, uh, the water to yourself, you can get it over there. Hey, look at that. They had the sign out for us already. This is where the fish eat the skin off your feet. Not in like a piranha kind of way, but like a massage kind of way, I guess. So if you go back away from the beach a little bit, you can actually go around that private area, uh, back by a little restaurant, which loops you right back around to, well, this area where the little pier is. So it looks like there may be a snorkeling area at the end of this pier. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I need my GoPro. I bought this after our last cruise, and this is the first time I've ever got to use this mask and snorkel equipment. It's the goofy looking snorkel attached on top, and it's crazy to look at, but I'm seeing so much stuff. This is worth every penny. I'll link it in the Amazon from Amazon in the description. Okay, hands down, I think this is some of the best snorkeling as far as what I'm seeing. Every color of fish you could come up with, coral, as well as everywhere. Like, this is the best snorkeling I've done in a long time. If you come here and you love to snorkel like I do, get in this water because it's unbelievable. It's beautiful. There's Brian waiting for me. He's like, why are you not out of the water yet? I don't understand how beautiful it is yet out under here. He's not a snorkeler. I am. <laughs> hey, Wanderers. Well, this is Melissa with Wanderlust with Melissa and Brian. And we are spending the day on the island of Rotan off the coast of Honduras. From, of course, off the carnival celebration, which we are having a wonderful time. We had a beautiful sea day yesterday and Cozumel the day before that. But today it's just been a relax. We wandered around the port to see what there was to do. We rode the chairlift over to the beach. We're enjoying a beach day. It is gorgeous. The sun is out and we are loving it here in Rotan. Hope you enjoy. 
back on the chairlift. We're headed back to the ship. Uh, we've had a good time here in Mahogany Bay. I feel like we, we kind of did it all, right? We, we enjoyed the, the Blue Lagoon area. We hopped on the Wi-Fi. Melissa got to snorkel around some beautiful coral. Uh, it, was, it was a good time. Didn't spend a ton of money, uh, and we didn't have an excursion plan. So there you go. Now we're headed back to the ship, and we're going to grab some lunch that's included. I'm kind of leaning toward Big Chicken. What would you do? All right, after we got back to the room after Mahogany Bay and we got cleaned up a little bit tonight, the show in the Grand Spectrum Theater was Amor Cubano. Love any kind of Latino music, because Cuban music and Cuban dancing, and, you know, and they had some pit bull music in there, and it was the singers and dancers from the playlist productions are fantastic so i was just having a good time and dancing and singing everybody in the in the audience seemed to be just loving it it was it was really a, a fun show i loved it dinner okay so we have a 5 30 really early main dining room and we totally missed that because we had gotten back on board and we ate a little something so we did Cucina del Capitano for dinner. After we finished our Amor Cubano show, this is the one that you, you get. The first one is free. And then if you go back for dinner after that, it's $8 per person, which is a very nominal fee because the food is delicious. We had a great appetizer. I tried the arancini. It's one of my favorites at Cucina. We've done that before. And then for the entree, I just got the Noni's meatball that's also on the appetizer menu. But it's one meatball, but he's like, okay, well, you want me to bring you two? They ended up bringing me a plate of three meatballs more than I could finish. It was hot and the sauce was delicious and really enjoyed it. And then for dessert, I got a lemon frozen tort. It was like a cake, just a small bite with cake. It had some maybe raspberry coulis on the side, but it was just quite, it was so cold that it was, it was not like hard frozen, but just icy in the middle and it had a delicious um, fresh lemon flavor. It was real, I felt like it was a lighter dessert. Brian had for his appetizer, the cured tuna. And then he also got a, a cup of minestrone soup. And his entree was the rigatoni, which was extremely heavy. So by the time he had finished that, he was feeling really full. But of course he still had to get a dessert. And it was the, of course, what do you get? Tiramisu. <laughs> so he got the tiramisu and it was delicious as well. So overall, the meal was fantastic. We enjoyed it. The service was great. We had three different people coming and checking on us throughout the meal. I was really impressed with the service, so we appreciated that. That finishes out our, our Isla Roatan day. We had a great day on land. We had a great evening here. For me, I'm really just glad Melissa got a chance to enjoy the snorkeling. That was kind of a highlight. and I love seeing her enjoy that. Um, I, I got well, I got roasted, so <laughs> there is that. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Costa Maya. Costa Maya. Um, we may be in the sun again, so I may be even more red come tomorrow evening. That should be tomorrow. So check in with us then. See you then.